my channel. My name is Rachel Banks, and I plan to bring you all things beauty. Okay, guys, so today is Saturday, so it's just going to be a relaxed, kickback vlog day. I'm going to take you through some of the things that I am doing today, like this two-strand twist, low manipulation hairstyle that I'm going to be rocking for two weeks. I'm going to talk you through that just a little bit. Um, I'm also going to boil that wig today, guys. I'm going to put the rollers in that red wig, and I am going to boil it today. And we will find out on Monday how it's going to turn out. But I'm going to show you um, me putting the rollers in the wig and my boiling process. It's really easy. Um, and then I kind of wanted to go over this nail polish that I um, used yesterday that came in my Onyx um, Beauty box the very pretty navy blue color that i put on my nails yesterday give you an update on that as well as what i'm cooking for dinner guys give you an update on that um so this is going to be a fun day this is going to be a chill vlog day so let's get started with me boiling the wig let's jump into that first i'm going to walk you through um me putting some rollers on a few um, pieces of hair um, and then I kind of showed you like how the hair set up the tracks or whatever even though and I'm not really sure I think this is a synthetic wig because it was so cheap when I bought it but it has tracks I don't know it's kind of weird it's a decent wig for a cheap wig in my opinion um, let me know in the comments if you think so as well um, especially when you see the tracks um, if it's a decent wig for it to be such a cheap wig again I'm still new to wigs so I could be very much very wrong um but it seems decent to be cheap i'm not really sure maybe i have to get my hands on an expensive one to get that feeling kind of like when you wear cheap makeup and you're like oh yes this is the bomb.com and then you start getting more expensive makeup and you're like okay what was i thinking the same thing with a lot of stuff once you upgrade and you kind of like understand like you know whatever so let me know in the comments if you think it's a decent wig for being less than twenty dollars I, I almost want to say it was less than fifteen dollars i know i did not spend nothing pretty much for that wig uh i know they were having a sale but it was that that was ridiculously low um initially when it was poofy um it almost looked like it was worth that much but then when i bought it i'm like okay it doesn't look that bad and then you can style it too so i'm not really sure guys so let me know in the comments what you think maybe that's typical of synthetic wigs um so just let me know what you think so let's get started with the synthetic wig okay guys so i am just prepping the wig by um putting some clips in it just prepping all of the hair pulling it up so i can get ready to roll the bag first and then work my way up to the top and that's how i'm going to do it all the way around the wig um, I do want to show you though before I get too far started in rolling um, the back of the wig um, because there are tracks and what appears to be a wig closure at the top. So let me show you the tracks um, on the back of the wig. Do you see these tracks? So it's a pretty decent synthetic wig. I don't know. But anyways, I've prepped everything for um, rolling. Now I'm about to get ready and roll my wig. I'm not going to sit here and record the whole entire rolling because I know that would take a long period of time. But this is how I rolled the hair. Essentially, I got through majority of it and then came back and filmed some more and i'm just securing the pink rollers with the uh, um, bobby pin and i did roll under for majority of the wig but in the areas close to the front of my face i rolled opposite of my face so that the hair kind of goes in the opposite direction because this will be a wig for filming so when i'm putting on makeup i don't want the wig in my face if that makes sense but you'll see once i take the rollers out the rolling of the entire wig was fairly easy. I think it took me altogether 20 minutes and that's because I was watching TV while rolling and it was times where I paused to like really pay attention to the TV and then I got back to rolling the wig. So it really didn't take much time at all. It was fairly easy once I got the hang of it. And as you can see, I am curling the hair away from my face in the front. So I am going the opposite direction of where my face would be um, for the hair that will be touching my face. And then all of the rest of the um, rollers are just put, all of the rest of the curls are going to be rolled under. So I put the rollers on where they are rolled under like normal. But the hair towards the front of the face, I rolled it in the opposite direction of my face. 
and this is what the finished wig looks like all nice and rolled up so let's get ready to take this wig and dump it in some boiling water okay guys so if you did not see my boiling my wig video all i did was um boil some water and then i took the pot off of the heat and then i'm just sticking the wig right in the pot and pressing it down it is extremely hot so be careful um but i do not have it on the heat and neither do i have it on the hot eye i removed it from the eye and off of the heat so it's just in hot water and i'm gonna leave it in there for five to ten minutes so I had deep conditioned my hair while I was rolling or boiling that wig. So I had washed it using my um, conditioner and then I deep conditioned it. And I deep conditioned it using this product that I got in my Onyx box yesterday. Um, so let's get into that. Okay, guys. So I just put that deep conditioner in my hair. Um, and I let it sit in there for about... <laughs> who is this man? I let it sit in there for about... Um, two hours um not purposely i was like putting curls in that wig um setting up the water to boil it and you know just taking care of some other things bathe my kids um or bathe my daughter I'm just taking care of some other things while the deep conditioner was in there but on the instructions it says that you only need to leave this deep conditioner in for five minutes um, my hair does still feel very moisturized. Um, feels like a decent deep conditioner. I am about to rinse it out. Yes. Dripping all over the place. But yeah, this is what the deep conditioner is. About to rinse it out and then I'm going to detangle in the um, shower. And I'm going to detangle using that um, Trader Joe's. Um, nourishing spa conditioner so I use that to wash my hair and then I'm going to use it to detangle my hair while I'm in the shower because I haven't done that part yet and then I am going to be putting in my um, Shea Moisture Jamaican um, Black Castor Oil leave-in conditioner and then I'm going to but before I do that I'm going to add my oils while I'm in the shower to lock in that moisture put in that Jamaican Black Castor Oil just all over my head and then I'm going to do that to a strand twist guys Okay guys, so I put the two strand twist in my hair. My hair is nice and moisturized and feeling wonderful. My scalp feels really good. It's not really itchy. Um, I still need to put the neem oil in there, but I put all my other oils in there. I just have to go in with the neem oil. Um, but my hair is nice and moisturized and this is going to be a low manipulation hairstyle. I'm going to leave these two strand twists in my hair for two weeks. I'm not going to take the two strand twists down, but I am going to wash it in between while I have while I have the two strand twist in there. I am going to be washing and conditioning or whatever. Um, and I am going to be rocking those wigs um, so that I can just leave my hair alone and let it be. And then I was thinking that it would be so much fun for us to do like a wellness check on my hair. So it'll be like a length check a thickness check and this will tell us if the overall health of my hair is being restored um i think that would be fun we should do it monthly um just to see how the hair is progressing so i'm going to take a picture and do like a length check in a couple of spots and then i'm going to save the picture and we'll just keep adding on to it to see um if my hair is actually growing um with this low manipulation hairstyle um so that'll be um pretty fun okay so for an update so these nails do you see this so i just polished my nails yesterday using that nail polish that i got in my um beauty box this is the bella pierre i think that's how you say it um and this is $15, guys. And for whatever reason, it has chipped completely off my nails for the most part. Um, I am going to completely remove it with the nail polish, but I just want to show you all how it looks right now. Um, and that's going to prompt me to post a video today that um, I was initially going to wait on posting it. So it's the... Um, essie nail polish review video i was going to do a second round on the essie nail polish but i'm gonna post it today so that you can see 
the difference in the nail polish and how long it lasts. I'm not gonna give much detail in this video because I want you to go and watch that video too. So I'm gonna post that today. I'm still gonna do like the round two, but I am going to post it in another video, you know, like an update, just add it like in a vlog or something like a vlog like today like oh i did round two and then this is how it looks but yeah this is i hate i hate this look i hate having chipped fingernail polish this is the worst to me i hate it so i'm gonna take this stuff off that's crazy um so yeah i'm gonna be rocking these wigs with this two strand twist um so you see we bored our wigs so i can't wait to see how it's gonna look and I'll do an update. I do a vi when I do my video on Monday. I will wear the wig, whether it looks crazy or not, because I just want to show how it's going to look with those rollers in there. Uh, so that it's it's kind of fun, you know, something different, at least something different for me. So that's something different. Um, and it'll be like um, an alternative to like different styles. I can get a few different rollers and like do different styles in it for the videos. I think that would be pretty fun. Um, and I like that deep conditioner. My hair feels very soft and very moisturized. Um, I know I did put that Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Oil um, Leave-In Conditioner and all my oil, oils and stuff. So that helped out a lot too. But then that was it. I didn't put any other, like at last week I had put that, um, what was it? That hair dressing in there, that hair conditioner. Um, I don't know. I'll leave it below what it is. I can't remember right now. But anyways, yeah, I'll put that in. I put that in my hair last week. I didn't put that in my hair this week because I'm not doing like a twist out. This is more of a low manipulation hairstyle where I just want to leave it be. Leave it be and let my hair come back. Um, and it's funny because I was talking to one of my old girlfriends about it today because she sent me a message on Facebook and she was like, why are you wearing wigs now and not just rocking your twist outs? And I was like, well, watch my video and you will know. Um, but anyways, I'll leave that link below to the video where it talks about um, my hair journey right now. The hair journey that I'm on and trying to make my hair more healthy um, to bring some length to my hair and to bring some thickness to my hair so that my overall hair is healthy. So... Yep, super, super excited about that. So the main important parts to do now is to continue to condition, moisturize my hair, drink water, and then in two weeks, I'll take this down and we'll retwist it. Um, I'm not going to do a length check. We'll do that monthly so that we don't get so wrapped up in if it's not growing, why not? You know, just so it's not kind of like don't weigh yourself every day expecting to have lost pounds. You know, like one of those sort of things. So we will see what is happening. And my house is smelling so good right now. I'm baking some chicken. And I wanted to bake the chicken. So I'm just making some regular baked chicken using my normal spices. Um, but the other day I had made some baked chicken some baked chicken thighs oh my god it was so good not saying that this chicken is not gonna be good it's gonna be good too okay but the other day i had put some sage and some jalapenos from my um garden in the chicken like seasoned it with it so first i seasoned the chicken with my normal spices and then i stuck it in the oven and cooked it halfway then i took it out well a little more than halfway where it was pretty much done took it out added the um sage and the jalapenos mixed it up put it back in the oven and then cooked it the rest of the way um and it turned out to be really 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 good okay guys so i added some fresh sage and some fresh jalapenos from my garden to my chicken and it's got garlic powder on here sea salt black pepper red pepper um, smoked paprika just the name of few seasonings I also put some sesame oil all over this chicken to pair well with that sage and those jalapenos just for something a little different yummy Um, and I wish I had more jalapenos. I have tons of sage out there, but I'm still waiting for some more jalapenos to grow. So I have quite a few coming in at the same time. So that's super exciting. And my okra is getting pretty big. So what another dish that I want to make that I absolutely love is um, like a stewed um, tilapia dish where I take um, tilapia and I add cayenne pepper, garlic, um, sea salt, black pepper, and then I add... Um, 
what is it fresh okra some grilled okra so that's what i'm excited about add fresh okra and i'm gonna add the jalapenos from my garden and then i'm gonna um dice up a few tomatoes from my garden and put it all in there so that's gonna be delicious and you can either serve it over rice or over spinach i would like to serve it over um i know you guys are like okay spinach yes the bomb.com um i'm gonna serve it over spinach over rice it's gonna be so good when i make it of course i'm gonna film it it is going to be the bomb.com and i am obsessed with trader joe's jasmine rice it is so flipping good it's inexpensive easy to make pop it in a microwave and it steams in the bag um so it's easy to make and it's delicious um i love it so that's what i'm pairing with my baked chicken tonight so i'm making baked chicken and probably some asparagus and the jasmine rice so that's going to be dinner tonight which i'm super excited about that's my fave i usually make my favorite dishes on saturday because my husband works late nights on saturday so on sunday i usually make his uh favorite dishes because he's home on sundays um and then on fridays it's kind of like a family day fun day so we usually eat like fun foods on friday and then it's back to the normal program Monday through Thursday. But Saturdays, I make my I eat jasmine rice. So I eat my jasmine rice on Saturday because I'm like the only one who likes it. Um, the kids eat it, but my husband he doesn't like the jasmine rice. Um, it's so good. Um, my daughter calls it sticky rice. <laughs> Mommy, you gotta make some of the sticky rice, my like, girl. You have been here before. That's so crazy okay guys so i'll check back in in a little bit and let you know what i am up to okay guys so this is dinner this is the chicken the baked chicken with the spices on it as you can see all of those spices on there and then i did cook the asparagus in the same pan as the chicken so you see it's got all the spices from the chicken on the asparagus it did cook a little it got a little softer than i normally like but it's still delicious. It soaked up all of that flavor from the chicken. And then this is my jasmine rice. So, so good. And I get this from Trader Joe's. Okay, guys. So, dinner was very delicious. Um, I hope you all really, really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed doing it. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. It's going to be so much fun, guys. It's all things beauty, okay? So, subscribe to my channel, all right? And to all my existing subscribers, I appreciate your support. Thank you so very much. And I will talk to you all soon. Oh, and don't forget to check out the SE video. It is right below.